Hello and welcome to Jill Cameron Creations. Today is a card for the Odd Sentiments Challenge Blog design team that I'm on and I am using a digital stamp by Oddball Art. It is the most adorable seahorse ever. The um, seahorse itself, I think his name is Silly Sal. And I'm going to do some Copic coloring. Now you see here that I have printed this out in, out from my silhouette program because I wanted to be able to die cut this image out with my silhouette and I printed two of them side by side and we'll see why in just a few minutes and you saw at the beginning of the video that I had a pretty stenciled background and I'm going to stencil that on the second one over here. So on the first image I'm Copic coloring it and I am using very limited palette. I wanted to keep this card very simple but with really cute bold colors and I am using um, BG000, BG10, BG15, YR38, YR18 and I'm sorry Y38, YR18 and YR21 and to color this image in and while I'm coloring it um, want to make just talk a little bit about what what's going on in my life because I haven't posted a whole lot of videos recently you may notice that there's a little bit change in sound in the video and also a little bit different lighting in the video um, over the past two weeks I have moved my craft room from my basement to a back bedroom in my townhouse upstairs that was the best workout I think I've had in a very long time so if you ever need a good workout just run the steps a couple dozen times in your house carrying about 50 extra pounds so I did that um, as some of you that are on my emailing list know I had a breakup about a month ago in a personal in my personal relationship and I have had to go back to a job outside of my home so that I can pay the bills um, my job I'm working in retail and so my my schedule is kind of all over the place right now and I'm trying to get back to that new normal and figuring out when I can actually work on cards and do videos and that kind of thing and I am recording this a bit late I'm gonna be a bit late for the challenge because I didn't receive my image until late which was absolutely fine you know people have things going on in their lives that we don't necessarily know about and I want to say something about that to show kindness to everyone because you have no idea what's going on in their life at that particular time and I've had so much kindness shown towards me um, people from my emailing list uh, people that I'm now working with uh, people in mentor groups that I am involved in and just uh, amazing amazing kindness in this world that sometimes I think we forget isn't there and just want to remind you that that it is there so for the video I have had to change how I video everything and also I've had to change um, what I actually video with um, if you saw my craft room tour from before that was about a year ago I had a um, camera tripod that was mounted to the ceiling and in the basement and it worked really great because I had no um, shake or anything with the camera and when I moved upstairs here now I have to have my I have a different camera stand and I'm also using a, a phone to video because my I can't do a tripod from the ceiling here upstairs so I need to I'm still playing with that and how to um, make sure that the videos are still really well lit make sure that they are not shaky um, and still really nice for you to, to look at and work with and that kind of thing when you look at my little seahorse here that I did that I colored you'll notice that I didn't do a lot of detail in him I just kind of wanted him to look like a cute little cartoon character that had a little bit of detail on him but not much I made him all one color because I'm also gonna make the background a little bit busier 
So what I'm going to do, um, if you want to die cut anything with your silhouette, what you're going to do is you're going to put that dark black corner up there. And I printed this registration marks on my, my paper there. You're going to put that in the top left hand corner of your mat. You're going to put it in and you're going to send it to, you know, do your outline and everything on your image and then you're going to send it to cut. And we're going to come back and see that. And I'm still working on the editing on this part because it's kind of wonky to me still because the I had to edit the videos way different this time too. So bear with me while I get used to the changes that I've had to make. And I am going to remove this with a spatula and remove all of my little bits and pieces here. And then we are going to ink blend on the background. And I got some new brushes the other day everybody's using those I think picket fence studios started it and the the big like oval brushes that look like big makeup brushes and I am using those and they're mine are legitimately makeup brushes that I bought at Walmart for like nine bucks I mean I paid nothing next to nothing for them and it's a couple different sizes and I use the medium one and I really do like them I like them better than I like the ink blending tools from Ranger with the sponges on them to do any kind of ink blending. They don't leave marks. Um, they blend out the marks immediately with themselves. It's actually really, really cool. And the other thing that I like about it is they clean up really easily. The, the ink comes off of them very, very easily. Um, and here's a couple other things. I'm using this video as well to kind of do some tips and tricks. I did a video not too long ago on uh, five ways to use stencils and tips and tricks to get your best image on your stencils. And one of them is to add a temporary adhesive on the back of it. And this one had it, but not all over and it didn't it was wouldn't stick down very well so i'm going to show you really quickly how i do that and then i will also show you what happens if you don't let it set long enough and you get adhesive on your paper because i didn't <laughs> um so i have a zig two-way glue pen and this is one thing that i keep zig two-way glue pens for is to use the temporary adhesive part of it it's a liquid adhesive you let it, it's, when it's blue, it's still wet and it becomes a permanent bond. But if you let it dry and get clear, then it's a temporary bond. And it works really, really, really well to do stenciling with, especially because the, this particular stencil is so, so detailed. And you'll notice that I literally just put a little bit here and there to clean up any of the adhesive that you have on your mat. I use uh, rubbing alcohol and mine's 91% isopropyl rubbing alcohol and I put a little bit on a rag and I wipe everything up it comes clean ta-da I have a clean surface again so now I'm gonna take my fingers and my hands and run over the back of it and get some of the major sticky off of it now I'm gonna put it back down on my image and I have no problem stenciling then look how easy this goes on just instantaneously there's no hard pressure you got to deal with and then you just rub it across on a rag and it, the ink comes off of it and you move on to your next color it is fantastic the best things ever i will link to the set that i got from walmart over on my blog so that you can go and pick those up they're rose gold with black on the ends and they are amazing i know there's a lot of stamp companies that are coming out with them um and to i will also link to the ones that uh tailored expressions they're doing a rainbow set with a holder and they're all the same size i will link to those as well i think they're on pre-order right now and i'll also link to the set that picket fence has um absolutely amazing brushes i just really like how they work now i got a little extra adhesive on my paper and what I wanted to do was make sure that my, number one, that the ink was dry on my paper. So I heat set my ink and then I took a kneaded eraser. And if you don't have a kneaded eraser, go buy one there. I'll link to one of those as well over on my blog. Uh, kneaded erasers are amazing. They pick up all kinds of stuff and don't 
and, and you just roll it over. They don't leave the mess behind like a regular eraser does. And this is one way that you can pick up, um, and this is my favorite way, that you can pick up uh, any adhesive that you might have on your paper. And it's amazing stuff. I really, really do love a kneaded eraser. And I've been meaning to get one for a long time, and I finally did pick up one. Now, the reason that I set my, made sure that my ink was heat set, I didn't want my ink to smear when I went to erase it or when I ran my hand over it to knock any of the stuff off of it. Now, I'm going to trim down my paper a little bit here so that I can actually use a die and cut down my image there and have that border, that stitched border, because that's one of the A2 size frames from MFT. And I'm going to take a little sip of coffee here real quick while I'm die cutting this with my Platinum 6 Spellbinder die cutting machine because it's 8 o'clock in the morning here and my voice still isn't the best in the world and y'all hear me kind of nasally too. And coffee sip is down. So run that through my die cutting machine here. And now all I'm going to do is adhere all of the little pieces for my digital doc my digital stamp here over top of this so I printed it so that I would have a reference point for it and I could put it all back together like it was because there were so many spots all the little bubbles and things I didn't want to lose those and I liked the spots of where they were so I didn't want to lose them now I'm messy colored <laughs> I'll be real honest with you I'm messy colored <laughs> so I'm taking a white gel pen it's a jelly roll pen and just hitting the white parts on the outside of this. Now, um, his glasses kind of bothered me because, of course, he's one side is on him, so it's going to be that weird teal color on top of orange there. And it kind of bothered me. What I did to make sure that it looked like you were actually looking through his little glasses there was I carried through the darker color of that teal on the other piece of his glasses and made sure that it looked like you were actually looking through the glasses to the background. That was really easy and I'll show that in just a second. Now I'm just going to take all of these little pieces and put them, glue them flat down. I'm not popping them up or anything. I do add some glossy accents to his glasses and all the bubbles um, that I'm gluing down to give them a little bit of shine all the way around. And then I also added some orange jewels here and there. And um, those were just jewels that I picked up from probably Doodlebug, I think. Maybe, possibly, potentially. I have a habit of taking stuff out of a package and putting it away. And then I don't remember where I got it from. But I did find some similar jewels that are Doodlebugs that are available on scrapbook.com. So head over there to pick those up. Um, and then I just backed this whole thing with a piece of orange cardstock and added a sentiment. And the sentiment that I used is, I would cross an ocean for you. And it is from the My Favorite Things Beach Buds stamp set. Super, super, super cute. And I stamped that in orange on some Nina Solar White cardstock. And my images are printed on Nina Solar White cardstock. I use a Canon Pixma. Um, IP8720, it is a wide format printer, and it's several years old, and it still works just fine. I, it is a wireless printer, and I have some problems with it being wireless sometimes, but other than that, it is a great printer. It prints really well, and I can buy off-brand ink to put in it, and it still prints great. So, um, if you're wondering about printing your digital stamps. I have an article over on my blog for printing digital stamps and how to make sure that you're printing in the correct size that you need in Google um, Docs as well as several times I have shown how to do this in Silhouette Studio so that you can cut these out at the same time too. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget also to head over to the Odd Sentiments challenge blog and I will have a link to that below as well as a link to the products used and a link back to my blog as well where you can sign up for my newsletter. Thanks so much for joining me today 
and I will see you again soon. Bye!